Hi guys, how are you today? So we're, I'm gonna just start calling this a little, uh, make this a little series and just start, start calling it Mail Call. So Mail Call Episode 1. <laughs> all right, I got some mail from a couple of different people here and I wanted sh to share with you all because some really fun stuff in here. They've got some really great channels and I want to share with you. So this first envelope was from my friend Maridel Abrams. She sent me a really nice note and things and included in the note, she sent me one of her really fabulous ATC cards, her little art cards. Really great, it says, start each day with a grateful heart. I love that. That is just fabulous. It's gonna go out in the front room in my box of art cards and tags. And the rest of this bundle all came in an envelope. And thank you, Mary, by the way. I'm going to link Mary's channel. And this all is from my friend Peg Robinson. I'm going to list her channel uh, in the description below. So you can go check them out. Um, Peg, you didn't have to, but wow, I love that you did. Um, she sent me this little, it looks like sort of an abbreviated pocket letter. And it's got um, some goodies here sealed into the plastic I'm kind of wondering if I can use this in my my year journal. It would be an interesting little like dashboard flap or something. And then on this side, she's got an ATC card and there's a, a little clay piece, a little flower, which is beautiful. Whoops, where are we? There we are. And then she's got an art card. Don't you just love the art card? And it says, keep some room in your heart for the un unimaginable. I love that. There's a thank you card in here from a little with a note in it from here from her in here, and I have to tell you guys I did share a video of hers recently. Um, this is one of my stamps from my design line of stamps, and um, she and she did this on here, and I loved the technique that she did. I am going to try to remember to link her video below. If I forget, somebody remind me. You can always go to her channel though and find it. She did a great job. I love the way it turned out. She, I only saw her do the card, but doesn't it look great uh, or on, the, on a thank you card? I just saw her do the background. Love it. And I can think of a lot of applications to do that on. <clears throat> so some really great stickers. These, again, are going to be great in my My Year um, journal. She sent me a couple of little um, random art pieces. This one's pretty cool, and it's on... Peg, what is this stuff? It's a little bit flexible, and it's got these really interesting metallic... I love it. I don't know exactly what it is, but I love it. And there's this one that has... Can you all see that there's a face stamped in there? It's so cool. It makes you want to like hold it up to the window or something. And then this, which you're not going to be able to tell, but this is a homemade mold of a face. You guys aren't going to be able to tell what that is. I'm going to have to make something with it and share with you. But it's pretty cool, too. Uh, that was all in this little bag. There was also this cute little skull. I love. And this little face. Love that, too. I'll tell you about these in a minute. This was all I was expecting. <laughs> Um, there are some really great fabric. Look at this red fabric with the music notes. And this green. I just love this. Look at this color. And there's some music note paper. There's a bunch of it. Really nice vintage sheets with the vintage coloring, but they're not brittle. They're still flexible. Nice big sheets of music. Nice. Now these are some homemade tools that Peg made made back when she used to teach arts and crafts and um, she used them mostly I think for holding down things when they were heating them up and stuff but um, she was going to de-stash them and I said can I have a couple of those? Uh, my friend Jerry Bellini has a tutorial on her channel for making these fabric beads um, and again if I can remember I'll try to link it below if I forget somebody remind me but the beads are made on a piece of wire with beads and then you wrap the fabric around it but what if you just want to make the fabric part? You could use this. I'm thinking it might also use for paper, work for paper beads. So I'm interested to try them. They look really interesting. It's just a dowel with a hairpin. 
but looking at it, I can think of a lot of things to use this for. So thank Peg, thank you so much for this. I appreciate it so much. Uh, both you and Mary didn't have to do that, but I appreciate that you did. Uh, everybody, don't forget to check out their channels and the videos I talked about linked below. If I forget, somebody say something in the comments because, you know, I do forget and I'll stick it in there and I'll apologize. Um, don't forget to check out the video description because there's a lot of other stuff down there, including links where you can find me, links where you can uh, look at my Etsy shop and buy my stamps, like the one that she used on the card, along with other stuff. And all my links, they're all down there. There's one link, it's called a link tree. You click on that, you'll find a mil, there's, well, not a million, but there's a lot of links that you can look it up. Uh, there's also my happy mail address and other stuff. Don't forget the most important message, though. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye, guys.